Hello, it's me again. I am here to show you a quick little video on weekly updates and what kind of information you would find in those. So where can you find my weekly updates? Well, first place I would go, the remote learning page. Again, this is where I'm gonna put a lot of information that you will need while we are doing our remote learning adventure. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see a couple weekly updates. I have been making updates and sending them to your parents through email since the beginning of the school year. But with online learning, I'm gonna have to just do things, things a little bit differently. So I'm going to be still emailing your parents the weekly updates. I'm going to be emailing you the weekly updates, and I'm also going to be posting them on the remote learning page. What information can you find in the update? Well, if you look at it, you can hit this little box and it's going to enlarge the update. There's going to be several pages to the update and I do not want you to be overwhelmed when you first open them. Okay, so when you open it up, the first page is going to be listing all of the assignments you have to do for the week. Now, I know this can be a little overwhelming and it looks wordy, but I have to do a lot of explaining about the assignments. So that it may not necessarily be one, two, three, four, five, six different assignments. It's just going to be little talking points for me explaining the work. So you have your list of assignments. And I know Mr. Sakers and Ms. LaPierre are also going to be following a very similar format. The first page is going to be all the assignments that are due for the week. The second page is I thought it would be helpful to students if you um, kind of had all the assignments kind of laid out for the week and how you could complete them. Now, this is just a suggestion. This is not something you have to follow. You may be able to get most of the assignments done on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It, you have to come up with a plan that works for you. And that's one of the really nice things about online learning. So if this schedule doesn't work for you, that's fine. You do you. You what, do what works for you. So I just kind of broke it down to kind of space out the uh, assignments for the week. On the third slide, you're going to see the standard course of study. This is what the state of North Carolina is telling teachers that they have to teach. So you really don't have to pay really close attention to this one. The key pages are going to be page one and two. Okay. So page one, again, is a list of all the assignments that you have to do for the week. And then page two is just a breakdown of those assignments in an, an example schedule. If you are looking at these assignments and you cannot figure out what it means, please feel free to email us. You do have access to your student email. You can send us an email. Your parents can email us. I know sometimes when we're typing things out, it makes sense to us, but it may not make sense to you or you just want to make sure you're doing it correctly please feel free that you can email us at any time and we will answer your questions. Um, our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 11, but just know that we are definitely checking our email all throughout the day. But from 9 to 11, we will definitely be able to respond to any questions you may have. Well, that's it. That's weekly update. Bye.